Hello, good afternoon. You're speaking to uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 6th of November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's run through the uh, the market uh, analysis for you. In terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, let's start off with that. Uh, in terms of the effect that it has on the European session, we have the uh, FTSE, or should we say the Asian session first of all, sorry, the uh, the Nikkei finished more or less flat, okay, uh, concerns with regards to North Korea certainly pop, crept up again, especially given the fact that Mr. Trump said that the uh, Japanese basically will be able to shoot the North Korean missiles out of the sky, etc. Uh, also, there were concerns with regards to um, uh, Trump stating that the US economy was much more stronger and there were concerns with regards to uh, tra the trade deficit as well with, with Japan, causing the Japanese yen to slide. Okay, in terms of the Hang Seng's, Hang Seng Phoenix negative, it did actually reverse quite sharply towards uh, mid-session. Uh, I did recover towards the end, but the Shanghai certainly finishing up 0.5%. Okay, uh, again, that will be interesting. There is certain concerns with regards to the, uh, the water surrounding China uh, and uh, the US obviously uh, threatening them as well. Again, it's more of a bully tactic with regards to America uh, and this, uh, their power certainly is on the wane and Chinese certainly growing much much more stronger. Okay in terms of um, the uh, the European markets thus far uh, this morning we have the FTSE more or less negative DAX although the FTSE should technically be uh, well certainly has held stronger than the rest given the fact that we have had a squeeze in oil given the situation in Saudi Arabia overnight with uh, this uh, uh, new crown prince certainly uh, uh, taking hold uh, of of power, okay. Uh, given the fact that he's uh, attempted uh, some sort of uh, corruption crackdown, and one of the uh, one of the obviously uh, most wealthiest investors, Miss Mr. Bin Talal or Tawil, can't remember his name now, but basically he owns a lot of tech stocks, a lot of uh, the major U.S. conglomerates, etc., and the implications of that as well. So given the, given the fact that prominent Saudi um, politicians certainly being arrested. Call, call them politicians because it's no, no, no politics there. There's no human rights there. They're all animals, really, from my perspective. They have no uh, concept of understanding uh, fanatical extremists, uh, and uh, the Muslim world certainly has been complaining about them, those idiots, for, for ages. But again, they're in bed with the Americans, and that's all that counts, okay? So oil prices certainly moving higher, okay? Uh, on the back of that, given the fact that uh, Mr. Uh, Ember, uh, the chap MBS, we call him, for brief, um, basically a new crown prince, certainly has a stranglehold on the uh, price of oil now and certainly has uh, a, a control and he certainly wants to restrict supply and therefore oil prices are certainly rising on that expectation. Now if I bring up the price of oil, certainly give you an insight there. Okay, you can see crude oil here, okay, so certainly breaking out, 10 minute chart, you can see we had a burst of up to 56.3, we're still pushing higher as well. So again, certainly keep an eye on that, okay. Uh, in terms of the uh, rest of the markets, we have your German DAX certainly under pressure, French Cank under pressure, FTSE MIB, IBEX all under pressure as well. Certainly seems like the uh, Draghi effect certainly has come, uh, certainly uh, ceased to exist now. In terms of economic data out this morning, uh, quickly going through that, German factory orders came out stronger than expected. Uh, Spanish PMIs came in weaker. Uh, Italian uh, PMI certainly came in weaker. French PMI is weaker as well. European and German PMI certainly came out on the weaker side. Although European market services and market PMI certainly came stronger for the whole of Europe and, and confidence certainly came out stronger. But we had PPI data, inflation data certainly coming out stronger as well. So keep an eye on the euro there with regards to that. Okay. Now let's move on to the uh, to tech, the uh, obviously the um, technical picture now in terms of covering fundamentals. Now there is something brewing here on the uh, smaller time frames. But to a daily chart, I'll just tell you we're basically consolidating here. There are two unfilled gaps we left behind, so watch out there. Weekly chart, obviously, we are into new highs, so again, from that perspective, it's certainly bullish. 60-minute chart, certainly for me, is it signaling exhaustion? Okay, certainly an argument for a potential reversal, especially with regards to uh, instability in, over North Korea. Uh, uncertainty regarding Saudi as well. Obviously, they are quite wealthy in terms of the funds. Uh, it be interesting to see if there's any liquidation there, especially given the fact that they are now being arrested. Okay, so let's see what happens there with regards to the market. Looking at the German DAX here, just taking out the a bit of highs, looking for a symmetrical wedge type pattern here, looking for a breakdown. Also on the smaller time frame, you can see we have a potential HS formation. Let's see if that plays out. Okay, if it does play out, then you have a massive gap to fill below at 12,200. Let's see if we can actually attempt to close that 60 minute chart. Like I said, a double top. 
if you fail to make a new high then you are going to be looking to reverse lower so bear that in mind okay in terms of the german dax so certainly german dax showing weakness now french cac is showing weakness um, i'm actually already short on the french cac as well daily chart you can see doji is certainly exhausted now 60 minute chart you have this hns formation with an unfilled gap below so again i'll be looking to target that gap at 5455 that's my target on the downside on my short position uh, 10 minute chart you have an unfilled gap at 5520 but there's no real catalyst to close that uh, again the pivot low for the day has been 5490 looking to test 5485 and then looking all the way down to 5455 looking for that gap to close so let's watch out there in terms of the uh, next market move okay right so that's the status quo okay in terms of the rest of the market let's quickly run through this for you okay looking at the euro stocks now let's see how the euro stocks fare okay so weekly chart at the moment is into resistance so looking weak daily chart as well certainly indicating exhaustion looking for weakness now okay so again looking for a move let's see how the market responds with regards to that okay uh, again if you do re re retrace and there is an unfilled gap below that needs to close at 3640 you certainly see that more clearly on the 60 minute chart you can see that gap there uh, now at the moment we're certainly putting in a lower high okay let's see if we can maintain this lower high then look to potentially rush a uh, flush you are holding previous resistance equals support 3670 the next support obviously is 3 635 so looking for that gap to close below 10 minute chart as well looking for a uh, potential gap fill so you have gap fill here at 3690 obviously we've closed the gap here and bounced from there and again that gap at 3635 really is highlighted and that's the one that we target okay FTSE 100 then let's move on to the FTSE 100 chart looking at the daily chart at the moment you have horizontal resistance uh, you have a topping tail doji type candle as well as you can see horizontal resistance weekly chart as well you're looking at resistance so a key resistance point here and again looking for a reversal 60 minute chart at the moment is basically looking at to potentially holding previous resistance equal support at 7540 for now okay again it's all about a right show it's all about a right shoulder and again it's all about the uh, chart sterling as well given the fact that mr carney has won and done let's see if that certainly fair transpires as well so for now FTSE rallied uh, and then obviously it has subdued for now whether consolidating for another thrust diet I don't know 10 minute chart at the moment again the FTSE is, hot, is certainly helped by the price of oil so just bear that in mind okay uh, now again you have resistance on the, at uh, 7563 7570 and then you have 7580 so let's see how that plays out so far we've held 50% retracement so far so you are looking at support there down below at 7540 the market certainly seems to be bouncing from there okay so that's where we are uh, if we do flush and break that 7540 the next support is seen at 7500 and let's see how the market responds again us markets will be important in terms of dictating the next move on that note i, I uh, bid you farewell please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading need to take advantage of the bonus and also make sure you download the latest trade signal app goodbye now